Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again. So, you might have seen in this video up above where I showed you how the Alienware Control Center or Command Center worked for the Alienware, AW, Alienware Gaming Elite mouse, the AW959 mouse, which is a pretty nice mouse. Might get a little taking a uh, little time to get used to, but it's actually pretty nice. Now, there was one aspect I skipped, not on purpose, it's, I just skipped it. It's creating macros. And actually, it was a pretty bad thing I skipped it because I found some issues. So, and I figured maybe I just didn't get it right. And I was on the phone with Dell for a little over two hours trying to get this right and they couldn't figure it out so they bumped it up to level 3 support and they're gonna get back to me now I am going to mention for every single second I was on the phone with them for two hours these guys were very nice very friendly didn't want to rush to get me off of the phone which I'm not used to everybody yeah whatever I just want to get off the phone I want to talk to somebody else or I want to play solitaire or something these guys really wanted to help me out the problem is nobody's ever really called them for help on this they just kind of stopped trying so if you want something to work you know come here check out my videos hopefully I can help you get it working if you can't find it here google it you might find something if you still can't find it call support or maybe first step call support because if you have the issue chances are somebody else has the issue and it's actually taken a long time for them to find this issue. First off, I'm gonna show you real quick how to create all the macros and all that good stuff, and then I'm gonna show you where the issue is. Let's check out setting the macros on the Alienware Gaming Elite AW959 gaming mouse. All right guys, so let's go into the software in question. So click on the start button and click on Alienware Command Center right over here. This is going to be the interface that you use to control the Alienware Gaming Elite AW959 gaming mouse. This is also going to be the user interface that you're going to utilize in order to configure the Bluetooth headphones that I'll be coming up with a video shortly. Alright, so then here we'll click on the FX button or tab. Then we'll click macro and then we'll click Alienware Elite gaming mouse. So here is the macro section frills and thrills here guys you will get annoyed unfortunately this is not perfect far from it but it, it seems that the forums and the webs do have a bunch of people talking about this when I called in the guy mentioned that nobody had really called about this so you have an issue call in so and you know it's at level three now so hopefully this will help out but anyway, let's go on with creating this macro. So we'll click here, create macro. So then the first one is keystroke. I will click, uh, type A here. Okay, so then here we'll just press A and we'll have options here. We can select repeat options none, which is what I'll just leave it at. Repeat options toggle, repeat options while pressed, and repeat options repeat X number of times so toggle right over here it'll toggle that every 25 milliseconds uh, right over here while pressed so it'll press while pressed it'll type that every 25 milliseconds and then repeat X number of times so repeat up to 200 times 25 uh, millisecond delay there so we'll just go ahead and leave that at none for now. Save it. Save again. Close it. Now we'll click on all macros here and you'll see that macro I just created. I will type A here, drag and drop it right over here, put it on the first key, creates a tile right here called I will type A here. So you know what tile it is. Save it. And now we'll just open up a notepad. And when you type or you press it, a comes out so I'm just clicking on that button that you saw me 
use right over here. I'm clicking on that button or tapping that button and you see A is there. Okay, so I'll go ahead and close that and we'll move on to the next one. Great macro and now we'll go to so shortcut. Uh, let's go uh, 7-zip. Let's call that one 7-zip. And then we'll click right down here, the Browse button. Okay, and Windows C, Program Files, 7-zip. You know what, since I already had that one, let's go to a different one, just so it doesn't look odd for you guys. Let's go ahead into Future Mark, PC Mark 10, and let's start up PC Mark, okay? You see the path there and the exe. We'll save that. Save again. Close it. Then we'll drag and drop. I named it 7-zip, even though it's PC Mark, but that's okay. Now I'll save that here. And now when I hit that button, now PC Mark starts to load. So that comes in handy. You want a quick way to start your favorite game. Bam! It's coming up. There you go. All right, so I'll just go ahead and close that out. All right, so create new macro and then text block. This one will name, I will shoot you. All right, leave me alone. I am busy. I will shoot you dead. All right, so that's the text. This is the name of the macro. And we have the same kind of repeat options here. And so I'll go ahead and save that here. I'll click save again. I'll close this out. And I will shoot you, drag and drop that over here. We'll save it, all right? Every time we save that, you'll notice the FX theme saved successfully. Anywhere command center comes up that way for the most part, you know, you got it right All right, so what what happens when I use that when I use that? Uh, macro I just created so in a game, you know Your let's say you don't have a microphone on or it's a chat game You would hit the T button or the K button or whatever to talk to somebody and then you just Tap that button BAM comes out. Leave me alone I'm busy, I'll shoot you dead. And so I'm just pressing that key a bunch of times and you could spam that everywhere. So, all right. So, you know, three keys there. So far, so good, right? Remember, there's that fourth key. And you know what? I'm gonna get lucky somehow and it's gonna work now. But anyway, so create new macro and then it is under macro. Here's the fun one. All right, so we'll type in the macro name, go. Okay, so what this is, it's going to be, we'll, we'll try, you know what? We'll try two different ways. Let's type, let's send then notepad, hi, or hi, how are you? Okay, so then here, stop, and then we'll close out of this. All right, so now you notice the only one that shows up is right windows hold delay for 0.081 seconds and right windows release. Now don't call me stupid just yet. Hear me out. So I'm gonna save it, save it again here. Then I'm gonna close this. And now I'm gonna drag and drop go here. I'm gonna save it, that came out. Now, let's see what happens if I hit that key. Nothing happened, right? Now, maybe you're like, well, duh, it's a macro for your mouse. And I totally get that. So now I'm just gonna go ahead here. We'll delete go. Let's go here and delete go as well. Okay, I'm just clicking to save the themes the way we have it now. Now I'll click create macro macro here again and let's go okay so now I hit record now I'm clicking the start button I'm clicking let's look for notepad and that might take too long so we'll just open up calculator okay 
sensible enough and now we'll close calculator stop and notice nothing showed up here under keystrokes we'll save it save again and then we'll close this and now let's go ahead and drag let's go save it the theme saved successfully and let's go ahead and hit it let's try again it's not doing anything so now I'm gonna hit the other button okay that one loads still loads PC mark just fine let's hit the top button top button was probably text yep a and then the other top button leave me alone so this was the one that I was on the phone with them for over two hours mind you I had them help me on the other keystrokes the keystroke the shortcut and the text block but you know I wanted them not only to help me but I wanted to see how their customer support was and again they were awesome um, they're going to get back to me and I am going to record another video as soon as I get some more information on just how to use this. You know what? Who knows? Maybe a newer, softer version will come out and it'll be fixed. You might have never seen this video and you come back to it one day be like, yeah, this always worked. What are you talking about? You're insane. But anyway, this is Iggy again showing you how to use the Anywhere command sender on the Alienware Elite gaming mouse, AW959. You know, the mouse works great. It's something you have to get used to. It feels a little weird in your hand, but it feels great. You can swap out the side panels, both sides, both the sides where your thumb hits and the side where your pinky lay. And I went over that also in the previous videos, which I, I linked up above. But uh, guys, please feel free to leave your comments, concerns, you know what, I could be a total idiot and there could be a, a real easy way that I'm totally, totally don't know. And Alienware didn't know either. And if you know how to do this, just type it in be below. I'll try it out. I'll mention you, thanking you. Hey, thanks, uh, Robert, for fixing it for me or whatever. But anyway, Iggy out. Thanks, guys. And as always, please do click like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. Iggy out. See you guys.